Nigel, back in March, you had a big announcement, ABB and Pace CCS. What are you up to? Yeah, thanks Kevin. So, in December, um, we had the pleasure of signing a long-term partnership agreement with Pace CCS. Uh, and what that agreement entailed was ABB acquiring the intellectual property of a digital twin that Pace had developed in order to bring that into a holistic digital solution to assist operators to reduce operational risks for CCS networks. Um, so we're joint, joint, jointly developing that technology today and uh, it should be ready for commercial development in, uh, deployment in 2024. And Matt, from the Pace CCS perspective? Yeah, it's very exciting. Um, at Pace we're the experts in designing CCS projects, we're working on many projects around the world. Um, and this um, partnership gives us the opportunity to bring these projects all the way through from design and into operations and make sure that they operate in a robust and successful fashion. Now, a huge amount of hype around CCS. We were chatting earlier, and you had a point that, look, this is all about design true to operations. Can you expand on that, Nigel? Yeah, sure. Uh, I mean, our focus has been very much centered around what we call hub cluster projects. Um, the nature of a hub cluster project gives significant operational risk because uh, of the operators dealing with third parties of, of CO2 sources. Um, and what we're actually doing with PACE is we're giving that consistent approach from design through to operations in order to give the operators um, the satisfaction that the design is fit for operational use. Now, I'm a big fan of digital twin technology. So, Matt, in, in, in enabling that, where's the digital twin technology that you guys have? Fit in. Yeah, it's, we've been um, working on CCS projects for quite a few years now and we realised back in 2019 that there was a need for a full end-to-end -end model for CCS networks, which is something that doesn't exist. The oil and gas um, simulation packages that get used are not fit for purpose for CO2 and so we've developed a, a very robust, very fast and accurate um, full chain digital twin model for CCS. It helps us with the design, we routinely deploy it and being able to take that through into operations is a, uh, is a terrific thing for us to be able to do. Now if I'm, in, I'm looking to build one of these, I'm like, oh yeah, technology is great and digital twins, but you know what, I need to make money out of this. Will this help me de-risk my project? Absolutely. Um, I mean, when you look at you know, what's driving this whole segment, it was an agreement signed back in December 2015 called the Paris Accord. And here we are eight years on with little progress made. Uh, and why is that? Well, very simple. People haven't found a way to make money out of it. But at the same time, they've recognised that there's huge financial liabilities in operating these networks. So it's only now with government support through regulations, through policies and so forth, and technology developments, that we're now seeing these projects start to move. And if I may, Matt, again, people would say, but, you know, okay, we've been doing some CCS with enhanced oil recovery and whatever, but it's newish. How can, how can digital simulation take out some of the risk? Oh look, there's, there's great experience with enhanced oil recovery, uh, there's great experience with upstream oil and gas, and there's great experience with operating midstream pipelines. But these are all different industries. When it comes to EOR, the main thing that we similarity is the presence of the CO2. But the commercial model and the operating um, process, the designs are very, very different. We have seen projects get into trouble. Uh, Gorgon is an example which the industry likes going back to, where a design is not fit for operational purposes and part of that is because of assumptions that get made from other industries. All of this makes the design challenging and that's why Pace, who are a relatively young company, are working all over the world to des design these CCS projects. But the real challenge is the transition to operations because just like there's limited experience with designing these, there's very limited experience operating them. And so we can offer the ABB balance of operations, building on that experience that we have to help the operators, to give them the information to help keep their CCS systems online, to protect their integrity and to reduce the cost of operations. And you know, from my perspective what you're doing is, it's not just siloed digital twins, right? It, it, it's joining the dots, it's that holistic approach so that people can game out the different risk factors so that, as you say, it, it's uh, uh, reducing the risk for these people. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, digital twins have been used in oil and gas applications for many years. But you'll probably find that the majority of digital twins are being used in isolation of one another. Correct. And, and a lot of those digital twins are being used for offline purposes as well. They haven't been re used in real-time operations. But when you look at an overall CCS network, it's made up of above and below surface elements. So in and order it's real to time. And it, you need to be able to not only do the what-off scenarios offline, but you also need those type of tools to be available as online per, um, tools. So 
taking two digital twins is one thing, but building that into a the holistic end-to-end -end solution that gives the operators the tools they need is something completely different. And that's why we're proud to be working with Pace in order to bring that holistic solution together into one. And I know we met at Sarah Week. You guys seem to be busy. Yeah, yeah, it's a growing industry and uh, it's great. It's um, just from a purely selfish and professional perspective, it's terrific to be involved in the sunrise of a new industry. Um, you know, we've been working on this for some years now, but there's an awfully long way to go. These big industrial hubs haven't yet started up and they won't be starting up for another two or three years. And so being able to come up with solutions to support that is, it's great fun. Hey, That's good the only way I can put it. Good stuff. I wish you well. Thanks, Thanks. Kevin. Cheers, Kevin.